Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on August 28, 2020. U.S. tech giants reign on the stock market U.S. tech giants increasingly dominate the stock market in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, even as they are accused of dishonest business practices and some investors fear the pump is poised for a tech-driven sell-off. Rising quintet share prices reflect the transition to an increasingly technology-driven economy fueled by the coronavirus outbreak. Facebook Inc. and Alphabet Inc., Google's parent company, are now worth over $7 trillion, which is nearly 25 percent of the index's market capitalization. For a comparison, before the pandemic, it was less than 20 percent. Companies suppress resistance. American lawmakers have accused them of repressing competition, and in recent days this accusation has also been brought against Apple by Epic Games, the creator of the popular game Fortnite. Tesla factory was targeted by cyber attack. Elon Musk said on Thursday that Tesla Inc.'s plant in Nevada was the target of a major cybersecurity threat, confirming a media report claiming that a company employee helped the Federal Bureau of Investigation prevent the attack. Tesla Roddy News website reported that the electric car maker is an unnamed company. In a statement released on Tuesday by the U.S. Department of Justice, was told that a Russian citizen was arrested in connection with a planned attack on an unidentified company. The Ministry of Justice said that 27-year-old Igor Igorovich Kruch a Russian citizen was arrested on charges of conspiracy to intentionally damage a computer by attempting to insert malware into the system. The negative program aimed to extract data from the network and then threaten the company with a buyout program, the statement said. Japanese Prime Minister decided to leave office. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe intends to step down as it became known on Friday. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, Japan's longest serving Prime Minister, is set to step down amid deteriorating health, ending his tenure at the helm of the world's third largest economy, during which he sought to revive growth, bolster defenses, and enhance his global credibility. Earlier, the national TV channel NHK made similar news, adding that the Prime Minister did not want to create problems for the government due to the deterioration of his own health. Abe has struggled with ulcerative colitis for years and two recent hospital visits over the course of a week have raised questions about whether he will be able to stay at work until the end of his term as leader of the ruling party and therefore prime minister in September 2021. Hurricane Laura hits Louisiana on Thursday, Hurricane Laura swept through Louisiana, killing six people and leveling buildings across a wide area of the state before moving to Arkansas in torrential rains. In West Lake, a chemical plant caught fire on impact from Laura, and the flames continued to spew a column of chlorine-laden smoke into the sky almost 24 hours after they went ashore. Laura caused less chaos than predicted, but officials said the storm was still dangerous and that it would take days to assess the damage. At least 867,000 homes and businesses in Louisiana, Texas, and Arkansas were left without electricity Thursday afternoon. It was the worst storm ever to hit the shore in Louisiana, Governor John Bill Edwards told a new conference. It continues to cause damage and threaten life.